Good morning. I'm Elle Brodsky, founder of Yoga Buzz. When we first partnered with Gateway Arch Park Foundation in the fall of 2015 for the Sunrise Yoga Series in downtown St. Louis, we had no idea that we were starting a new tradition here in our city. While we're not able to practice in person right now for, you know, the obvious reasons, we are very grateful that we're able to continue our Tuesday morning tradition with a virtual Sunrise Yoga Series. I want to say a big thank you to our partners at Gateway Arch Park Foundation for their continued support and partnership, as well as the Gateway Arch National Park for being such a beautiful background for these classes. Hope you enjoy, and we'll see you soon. Hello, I'm Eric Action Jackson, and I'll be leading you through your morning practice today. Before I do that, I just want to tell you thank you for uh, uh, taking the time out to support Yoga Buzz and everything that we're doing. And let's go ahead and get started. It's a little cold, so I'm probably going to have my hood on. So just follow along with my body. Don't worry about my face. <laughs> let's go ahead and have a, a seat, a nice comfortable seat, whatever way you want to do it. Legs extended or crossed, whatever feels good to you. Let's go ahead and do that. We won't be here too long because I definitely want to start warming back up. And I'm sure you want to get moving through your day so you can get it started. So let's go ahead and just close our eyes and settle down. Deep inhale, exhales. No controlling it, just feeling it and noticing that it's there. While you're doing that, please recognize your body and anything that's assisting in the breathing. It doesn't really have to do anything, okay? So just kind of relax and just let it go. Just let your lungs do their job and not your legs or anything helping out. So just relax. Inhale, exhale. There'll be some parts where I may be ahead of you or a little bit behind you. That doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. It just means that we're just doing our own thing, okay? So don't feel like you got to race or anything like that, all right? Eyes closed, letting the day start off right with positive thoughts. Not worried about you, whatever you got to do today. Let's do that two more times. And one more. If you feel comfortable keeping your eyes closed, let's bring our hands to prayer. Here we're going to set our intention for class. It doesn't have to be a single intention either. It could be anything that you want. It's up to you. Anything. So closing your eyes. Give me a moment to think about it. And inhale. And exhale. Bringing your hands to your knees. Slowly flutter your eyes open. Move your shoulders. And here we go. Let's start from the top and work our way down. So from here, hands cupping your knees, not gripping, just cupping. We're going to drop our chin right down to our chest. It's feeling a nice little stretch in the back of the neck. Nothing else is doing anything, so just relax it. And just move it side to side very lightly. Almost like you want to bring your left ear to your left shoulder, your right ear to your right shoulder, side to side. And as you do this, gradually take your ear from side to side on the shoulders, all right? So just keep warming it up. Don't go to your hundred. Don't let the wind fool you. It's a little chilly, but it's still going to be a nice day. So get out and do something on Saturday if you're available to. Now, as we're rocking side to side, let's go ahead and start slowing it down. Not stomping it, slowing it down till it comes to a neutral spine. Head hanging, lifting your head up. Now, bringing our hands off to the side. Not settling down, just more if the ground is hot and you don't really want to touch it. So we're bringing our hands down. And we're just going to raise our arms up, biceps near your ears, not your shoulders. If they touch, great. If they don't, don't worry, because we're going to do this a few more times. Pushing everything away that's trying to come close to you. Push it away, push it away. Bring it down. And as soon as you touch the ground, let's inhale, sweeping our arms up. 
Get a little closer. Let's bring those hands a little closer if we can. And bring it down. As we do this, remember, shoulders away from your ears. Let's do that two more times. Let's get ready to go to our max. You see that you can get there. Here's the last time we're getting ready to go to it. So bringing your hands down. Keeping the length that we worked for, everybody. Now, here we go. We're going to try to bring our hands as close as we can. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. Who cares? Keeping your hands up. Let's turn our torso to the right, not our spine. We're bringing both our shoulders together, dropping our right hand behind us, our left hand on our left, uh, right thumb, sorry. Think of your shoulders as a door that's swinging open and not you wringing out your spine like a rag. Staying here on an inhale. On an exhale, can we go a little deeper? Yes, we can. Hold it. Feel good. Arm is like a kickstand. Now, let's bring our arms up. Feel the difference? Now, let's turn our whole torso, shoulders. Remember, treat it like a door. To the left, bringing our left hand behind us. Right hand on our left thigh. Sitting up nice, strong, and proud. Staying here. On an inhale, bring your, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> on an inhale, exhale, go a little deeper. That was an example of a brain freeze. Bringing our arms back up, bringing it down to prayer. Now, we're just going to do a uh, like a seated fold. From here, what I want you to focus on is keeping the lower half down, okay? We want to keep that as uh, cemented to the ground as possible. So if you go into this fold and your behind starts to come up, let's check the ego a little bit and bring it back down and either warm up or practice to get a little deeper into it, all right? So from here, we're getting nice and straight. Let me turn this way so you can get a different view. My back is straight and it's gonna fold over like a drawbridge, not curl over like I'm upset at something. Hands on the mat. I won't go that deep because I just can't. Maybe you can. We're going to walk our arms out. And once you feel the resistance, stay there. And once you feel it, make sure that you're not pulling yourself up. Inhale. Exhale. Staying here on the inhale. Get yourselves ready because we're going to go a little deeper on the exhale. Just a little bit. Even if you faked it out a little bit, it's not a big deal. I can't tell. We're going to do that one more time. So inhale. And just a little. See, I faked it too. Hold it. Kind of wiggle your shoulders around. Feel the difference. You I normally feel this on both sides. But we're going to give each side a little bit of attention. Stand in this fold. Bringing our torso over our right knee. So you're going to walk, but keep your hips where they are. Again, don't worry about depth. Just worry about doing it what feels good. Inhale. Exhale. Coming back to center. Just feel the difference. We won't be here long because I know the other side wants to feel that as well. Walk it over your torso, not curling your spine. Walk your whole torso over as if you want to line it up with your knee. Balancing out the shoulders, not tipping over. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We worked very hard for this length, so let's keep it as we come back to center. Really placing your hands into the mat. Let's try to keep our arms as straight as we can as we walk back up. And I'm going to turn this way so you can see me. So now we're getting ready to go into tabletop and from tabletop we're going to move into cat cow and a few uh, movements from there. So if anything that you can or don't want to do, just modify it yourself, all right? We're just kind of hanging out with each other. Any cool way you know how to get to tabletop. I'm on an incline, so I'm not going to fall. I'm just going to get up there regular. So I want my knees right above my hips, wrist, elbow and shoulders in a nice frame. Don't know the medical term for this, but the elbow pit, 
I want that facing forward so it's more of a structure than it is muscle. So a good way to tell that is, are my thumbs pointing forward? Are my fingers looking like an L? Whatever feels comfortable for you. Check it in with your base. And what we're going to do is we're going to pretend something's really heavy on our back and it's making our spine drop, our belly drop, but our head lifts up. Now we're going to use our imagination again and as if someone's pulling you from the center of your body and curling your spine, but you don't want to go up, so they're just picking up your spine, looking at your knees, cat and cow. So let's go back to cow. So we're going to inhale as we look up, keeping the shoulders away, pushing the ground away, not just settling down, pushing the ground away. Let's go into cat again. At your own pace, dropping your belly and raise, then uh, raising your belly, uh, your spine, I'm sorry. Let's do that a count of five at your own. And when you reach that, let's come into a child's pose. Or you can continue on until we get ready to the next movement. Good way to start your day, everybody. So again, thank you for hanging out. I'm usually at about number two right now. And one more coming into neutral. Turn it this way so you can see the form. Setting up for like a little mild balance pose. I'm sure you got it today because I got full confidence in it. And I'm gonna freeze a little so you can see me. What I would like for you to do is stay in the tabletop nice and strong, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend our right leg out, raising the hamstring, and just rock it back and forth. Almost like, and you see people in the track meets kind of warming themselves up. That's what we're kind of doing here. So we're just rocking back and forth. Come into a neutral with your right leg extended, keeping your hips level. Can we bring our foot up? Yes, we can. Your foot can either be toes curled like this or down, not a big deal. Pushing the ground away, lowering it down. Bringing it back up, bringing it down. And on this one, we're gonna leave it up. So bring it up, hips or uh, heel level with your hips. Now, here we go with a little trust, a little strength that I know you have. Let's bring our left hand up bicep near your ear you got it don't fall if you do just reset now that cat cow we just did let's curl our spine push the ground away to get more length bringing your knee and elbow to touch as close as they can and with control let's fly extend out three more ready curl your spine push away that creates length one good Bringing it in, pushing it away. You got it. Two. Last one. Bring it in. Hold it a little longer for three, two, one. Extend it out. Bringing it in. And let's reset. Good job. Left leg, straighten it out. Rock it back and forth. When you do this, it's common to feel it in your calf, a little bit in your hamstring, but definitely in your calf. And come into neutral. From here, two sides, got to do it again. Raise your leg up just to feel where you might have to make some adjustments. Don't worry about doing it perfect. Bringing it down. Bringing it up. Bringing it down. And on this one, you know where we're at, so we're going to leave it up. So up. Right hand. Right bicep by your ear. Don't worry about the shoulders. Push the ground away. See how strong you are? Yep. And raise your spine. Bring your elbow to knee. Touch if you can. Extend out. One. We're doing that three, okay? Bring it in. Two. Still pushing the ground away. Bring it in. Hold it for a count of one. Two. Three. Extend it out, bring it down, move around, do whatever feels good and comfortable for you, all right? Setting up for down dog and a few uh, asanas in there, all right? So 
just like to let, get you mentally ready for what's going to happen. We're in tabletop. So from tabletop, curl your toes and let's only float our shins up. Just bring the shins up first. From here, push your chest back as close as you can to your thighs. And instead of just springing your legs straight, let's raise our hips. Keep your legs bent, but raise your hips. Once they've maxed out, then straighten your legs. Pushing the ground away, pedaling your feet, walking the dog, whatever way you want to call this. Feel that base. You've got four points of contact, so let's evenly distribute that weight. Now here we go. We're going to raise our right leg up. Not worried about height, worried about alignment. So, bringing your right foot up as if all five toes were going to be pointing to the ground. So my foot isn't this, it's not doing this, it's not pointing like a dancer. It's going straight to the ground. Now, as we float, keep our leg up, let's float our shoulders past our wrist and bring our leg back up. It's almost like we're going into a uh, one leg plank, if you will. Float, just building up a little heat because it's cold. And come back. Hold it for three, two, one. Push it back up, down. Th three legged dog. Bring your leg down. Feel the difference. We're going to do that on the other side. And then we're going to set up for another pose. So bringing your left leg straight, toes pointing to the ground, checking in with where you are. Now, rock forward. Shoulders are going a little bit past my wrist in a plank position. Pushing back, shoulders coming behind my wrist. One. Forward. Two. Last one, bring it over, hold it. Three, two, one, float it up. Bring your foot down. Just a slight little break so I can put my hood back on. We're going to go back into three-legged dog, but then we're going to raise our leg a little higher and we're just going to flip our hip over, all right? I know you've seen it on Instagram, so you get to do it today, all right? I'm going to turn this way. I'm on an incline, so I might fall. Don't care if it's funny. <laughs> so let's set up for our down dog, raising our, do everything we just did to raise our hips up. Got our four points of contact. Now, we're going to raise our right leg up. So that means we're putting weight in our hands and our left foot. Raising your right leg up as high as you can control it and keep your hips level. I can raise it really high, but look what I'm doing. Here, it's not as high as I want it, but it's leveled out. Now, bending your right knee, almost like you want to bring your heel to your butt. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the ground away, but I'm going to look under my right armpit and stacking my hips on top of each other. Pushing equally in both hands. Coming back to three-legged dog. Bringing your foot down. You may need to shake your arms out or readjust. That's perfectly fine. We're getting ready to do it on the left side. And then we're going to go into some of our standing postures. So, set yourself up with your down dog. Left leg. Remember, we're talking about controlling your body. So don't just do it because this is where I want to go. It takes time to build up to some of these things. And I have to practice it as well. Bending my left knee. For me, what I do is I look under my left armpit and I bring my left hip on top of each other. Pushing away. Four, three, two, one. Back to three-legged dog. Back to down dog. Dropping your hips to child's pose. Two breaths in child's pose. While you're doing your two breaths, we're going to come back to down dog, but we're not going to stay there, okay? Because we're going to get ready to start our uh, standing posture. So don't feel like, oh, my arms. My arms too. Don't worry. <laughs> coming out of child's pose, coming to tabletop, coming to three-legged dog. What I would like for you to do any way you want to. You can hop, step, but let's come to the front of our mat. I'm going to pretend this is my front. Just relax everything down. If you want to, you can grab 
opposite elbows you can let them hang do anything that you need for yourself right now so we're in a forward fold if your fold is requiring some movement let's go ahead and start wrapping that up for five four three two one we're in stillness now and on the inhale halfway lift back straight almost like you look like a number seven and exhale fall forward inhale all the way up bringing your arms with you up up maybe they touch maybe they don't who cares bring your hands down palms facing out mountain pose so from here we just, let's start the day off with just a little bit of confidence all right we're going to go right into tree just for a moment and then we're going to start wrapping it up so we're here you got it there's three levels to it so don't feel like you got to go immediately to it what we're going to do is we're going to put most of our weight into our left leg right leg peels up but our right knee points out to the side ankle and heel are touching they're pushing into each other from here if you want to can you bring your foot to your calf all right now what we are going to do is we're going to bypass the knee so if you can't get there let's work and find different ways to go there but we're not going to go to our knee but if you can can you bring your foot into the inside of your thigh bring your hands to prayer and working your way down feel it in your hips and if you have to dance like that it's, that's also fine too <laughs> so here we go on the other side turn your foot out ankle and heel touching each other now is it going to be your foot and your calf it could be could it be your foot and your inner thigh if you want to try it feel free it doesn't cost money hold it bring it down shake it out so here we go we're going to go ahead and go into a lunge after the lunge we're going to wrap it up with a little bit of shavasana okay so i'm going to face this way just because it's easier for me to explain i'm here on a forward fold so i'm folding forward bending my knees as much as i need to some may not have to bend as much but i am i'm going to step my right leg back checking in with myself so let me actually turn this way my left leg has its own lane my there's a space where there's nothing there and my right leg has its own lane so we're not on a tight rope it's almost like we're on railroad tracks knee isn't past your ankle and we're going to put our hands on our knees there's the executive producer <laughs> <laughs> You're going to raise your arms up. <laughs> now, from here, let's, if we can, can we bring our hands together? And just a little trust. Let's raise our arms up and look at the sky, leaning back, crescent. Folding forward. Stepping your right leg up. Bending your knees, stepping your left leg back. Give it its own lane, all right? One lane, knee not past your ankle, empty, under construction, and your left leg back. If you can't just spring on up, let's go ahead and put our hands on our knees, peel our chest off of our thigh, raise your arms up. You got it. Bring your arms together, if you can, hands together, leaning back. No crunching in the spine. Try to really stretch it up and lean back. Hold it. Folding forward. Bringing your left to meet. Now from here, bend your knees as much as you have to till you come into a seat. I'm gonna turn this way because that's the downside of the heel. And I'm just gonna lower down setting up for shavasana we got one more pose what i like for you to do is bring your knees your, your heels as close as you can to your butt digging your elbows in not just springing up i'm raising my hips up 
elongating my neck so I can still speak to you clearly. I'm not talking to you like this. I'm not crunching my esophagus. One vertebrae at a time. Let's lower it down. Each one gets to touch the ground. Lower. Once you're down there, bring your knees into your chest. Hug. Head off the mat. Rock back and forth. For a count of five, four, three, two. Lower down, extend your legs out. Take up as much room as you need to. Closing your eyes. Setting up for Shavasana final pose. Again, while you're in this uh, final pose, I want to thank you for hanging out with us. I hope you can carry on this good feeling that I tried to create for you through the rest of the day. And namaste. Thank you for taking the time to practice with us this morning and keeping the Sunrise Yoga Series tradition alive. Gratitude to our partners at the Gateway Arch Park Foundation for being our continued partners in this series. We continue to offer these classes at no cost and hope that you'll help to support us by sharing these classes on your social media with your friends and family 
or considering a financial contribution in any amount to help keep our work of making yoga accessible and inclusive throughout the St. Louis area. You can visit yogabuzz.org for more information or to make a donation or to purchase a cool Yoga Buzz shirt. You can also support Gateway Arch Park Foundation through their website. Thank you so much.